Hi everyone, my name is Erin. I'm a scientist at Columbia University Department of Pathology here in New York City. And I first wish to thank the Joe Rubin Foundation for having organized such a thrilling scientific challenge. In order to identify what underlies gender differences in AD, I chose to proceed in a hypothesis fashion by reanalyzing a collection of microarray data from brain samples of elderly individuals, whether affected or not by AD. I then proceeded to what I call, part of my French, differential color expression analysis, a bioinformatic technique that aimed at identifying in GMY fashion those genes whose functions are the most altered by both gender and AD. I have to admit I was quite excited by the result of such an unbiased approach. The gene identified, called SCARB1, is known to regulate HDL cholesterol, which is a good cholesterol protective against AD. It moreover does so in a gender-specific fashion, which is comforting. An extra promising perspective comes from the existence of SCARB1 inhibitors, one of which is in clinical trial now against hepatitis C and was found to increase HDL cholesterol level in treated patients. My point here is that having a drug option on the table as soon as the target is validated is something that is rare enough in the field to be underlined. My current roadmap involves confirming a genetic effect of the SCARB1 locus on AD and identifying AD-related biomarkers that are affected by both SCARB1 and gender. Those would provide valuable clinical readouts in an AD optical trial targeting SCARB1. What I propose you here is that's not only a new exciting hypothesis, but also to go after a very drugable target for AD, something that could explain the men woman differences, but that could also be beneficial to any patient. I really hope I can count on your support for this exciting journey. Thanks a lot.